This is Dr. Rajni Mundal with Pathology Watch here with your 3D 3-Minute Digital Dermatopathology Digest. Today's topic is sweat gland tumors. Sweat gland tumors try to recapitulate normal sweat glands, which are composed of a ductal as well as a secretory component. The ductal component is commonly composed of multilayered epithelium as well as a myoepithelial basal layer. The secretory component can have multiple phenotypes. Here you can see clear cell as well as eccrine and apocrine differentiation. We're going to start by looking at common sweat gland tumors, and I'm going to show them from cases that have small spaces within the tumor to large spaces to no spaces at all. This is a common tumor in the vulva, hydrodenoma papilliferum. It is a dermal tumor, and it shows interconnecting spaces, sometimes with papillary infolding. You can see here that these are secretory cells that are lining the spaces. These are apocrine cells that have eosinophilic cytoplasm, as well as apical snouts. These show decapitation secretion of the snouts would cause the actual secretion within the lumen. Our next case is here, which shows cystically dilated tubules and spaces. This, these are not as interconnected as a hydronoma papilliferum. This is a papillary adenoma. It's common in the axilla and scalp. And on higher power, you can see that although the cells are flattened, they do have eosinophilic cytoplasm and many times can show decapitation secretion. Here, the secretion is more proteinaceous than is seen in hydrodoma papilliferum. Finally, this is a case with a large multiloculated cyst in the dermis. This is an apocrine hydrocystoma. It's common in the head and neck and Moll's gland in the island, eyelid and is associated with shop schulz passage syndrome. Apocrine hydrocystomas also are lined by apocrine cells. Here you can see the eosinophilic cytoplasm and apical snouts. Finally, this is a case of an eccrine poroma, which shows no cystic spaces at all. There's broad-based acanthosis with bland basaloid cells. Sometimes the cells can show a clear cytoplasm. As opposed to an acanthotic seborrheic keratosis, there are no horn pseudocysts. These are fibrovascular cores within the center of the lesion. Paromas are most common in the palms, soles, and scalp. Here are your five flashbacks for today. Normal sweat glands have ducts in a secretory component and they have different appearance such as clear cell, apocrine, and eccrine. Myopithelial cells surround the ductal epithelial cells. Hydrodoma papilliferum is common in the vulvar area. It's a dermal tumor with papillary infolding and apocrine decapitation secretion. Papillary adenoma is common in the axilla and scalp and is a dermal tumor with tubules and ducts with apocrine cells. Apocrine hydrocystoma is common in the head and neck and most land in the eyelid is a multiloculated cyst with apocrine cells and is associated with schopf schulz passage syndrome. Poromas are common in the palms, soles, and scalp and show acanthosis with bland basaloid cells and a vascular stroma. That's it for me for today. This is Dr. Rajni Mandel from Pathology Watch, revolutionizing pathology for dermatologists. Check us out at pathologywatch.com.